setting up the MUPAS device and we've got it set up. We're just logging into the website and this is gonna capture infrasound, uh, gyro, all kinds of sensitive stuff, even we move it movement back? and everything. So yeah, so we're gonna move it over behind. Yeah, Carl's house, Mount Wilson Ranch. Wow, there it is, that's the data. Believe it or not, there's a lot of petroglyphs in this area that seem to indicate that that's the case. The MUPAS device active and getting ready to live feed to all of the members of the MUPAS club. The Howard Hughes company and how they had the first psychotronic directed energy system contracts and all of the evidence says and rumors are that he was up here and he's the one that put in the runway. Since he never uh, left. There is a ranch in Nevada near Area 51 that was secretly researched by Bob Bigelow's original Skinwalker Ranch team of psychic spies. For decades, while simultaneously researching Skinwalker Ranch, the NIDS team was searching for the lost entrance into a giant cave system of ancient alien artifacts. An abandoned alien mining operation leading to a 500-foot underground pyramid hiding a UFO nicknamed the Mount Wilson Manta Ray. For thousands of years, indigenous people have known and protected its secrets. For decades, top secret government teams, even before Ronald Reagan's Star Wars program, were scouring the ranch attempting to recover the metamaterials, biological material, and ancient unknown artifacts, and were stopped by an explosion of paranormal activity. Animal mutilations, alien abductions, poltergeist activity, moving orbs of light and shadow figures, strange glitches in time, and the ghost of a Native American shaman appearing alongside with three extraterrestrial beings who protect the land. Now, new leaked whistleblower evidence has confirmed the truth behind these local legends. New ancient artifacts are being discovered and mysterious energy is transmitting from the meadow and an undiscovered tunnel entrance has been found. Independent researchers, scientists, archaeologists, and Native American historians have joined me, Carl Crusher, to uncover the truth. We are on a mission to find the lost entrance into the underground and uncover the real mystery of Mount Wilson Ranch. You guys want to see it? We're going to zoom around and all of it and you can see for yourself, like, look at how this all turned out. It turned into a bunch of blobs. You can't see any of the detail. It's like, does not even give you the idea of what's going on. And so the only way that I can wrap my head around it at this point is that the data that we're getting on this modular unidentified phenomena alert system, the MUPAS device is capturing this high, like waves of microwave energy up here at the ranch, which is the same data that we got with Brent from Museum of Tarot. And when the History Channel came here with Beyond Skinwalker Ranch with uh, Andrew and Paul, when we had the devices that were sent here from Eric Bard from Skinwalker, we kept capturing this ultra low pulsing frequency that comes up through the infrasound, through the microwave and the gamma, gamma wave radiation. And a lot of that is coming from whatever is down underground in the lower meadow in front of the settler's cabin. And I honestly think at this point that that energy is coming up through here. And even if we're catching it on Brent's infrasound computer and we're getting it on all these devices and even on the MUPAS device now, I honestly think that it's affecting the polycam results. When I try to do the 3D scan, it all comes back screwed up. I don't know what to tell you. I've literally wasted two whole days. so. Let's just go down to the settler's cabin. I'm gonna give that one try. We're gonna see if it turns out at all and we'll see what the results are. But other than that, I'm gonna shift over to plan B, which is I have been to Skinwalker Ranch headquarters. I've been into Homestead One. I've been back into their lab where they have all the live stream cameras. I've seen where they have satellites and things and telescopes pointed up at the stars. And I even know what constellations they're pointed at. And I also saw what they have there that could be potential metamaterials. This is flakes of metal that looks exactly very similar to this, uh, I can't say exactly, very similar to this bismuth 
zinc aluminum alloy that you hear about with all the metamaterial going around with the congressional hearings and the reverse engineering programs and stuff. So I kind of think that they got the metamaterial from here. All of the dates line up when Jacques Vallée, when the mining operations were going on here, clear back into El Norez and before Area 51 was even a thing. There was mining going on up here um, and some tunneling and everything. And so I think that the Bigelow team in 96 got more of it when they came back up here. And Jeff might already have some out in the hallway around his house and collected, especially down by Craw Creek. He could already have some what we could consider meta material. And so since I've already seen and looked at and handled the stuff at Skinwalker Ranch and I've been digging into this for such a long time, I really want to try and see and go through and look a lot closer at all these samples that Jeff has collected to see if we can find more. It's crazy to me how it's still coming out kind of blurry. I'm getting it decent, like the main walls and the structure, you get a sense of it. So it might still be fun to explore and look around and, and check out these buildings. But I think just for the free app, there is some kind of energy coming out of the ground here that is messing it up. That's making it so objects just look like all smeared over and blurry and weird and out of alignment. And even when I'm really careful and I get in close, it's just like, nope, not gonna record the data for you. So <laughs> I, I don't know, it's really weird. It doesn't do this anywhere else, but I, it's just giving me fits up here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the settler's cabin. I feel like I've had the most success down here in this building. Maybe the size and shape of the rooms is just making it just easy enough to where you can get an idea, but it still isn't the same as being here in person. And so it's a little bit frustrating. I'm excited though to go up and start looking through the main building down that hallway and going out in front of Jeff's house to look around and see if we can find anything that looks very similar to the meta materials that I've seen before. Has the saloon all the different lights and the different nooks it, crannies? It, yeah, there's still blurry spots, and I don't know what it is. I, I really honestly think there's some I'll sort take a of number a, three. Okay. I was still three that's Carl. interference or something, you know. Well, I don't think Carl can do it with. Um, Yes, so it's his more photo of my coffee. I could do a dog. I his guess. thing will I be left flying my coffee behind everywhere. There we go. I can leave my coffee here. I'll take one. Here. Oh, he's doing it. Who you go? They're good, teasing me like this job, is Nick my Jack. dog now. He doesn't like the name Crybaby. It depends on how you want to walk. Over yeah, Crybaby. No, it's not a Crybaby. <laughs> She's all bad a... if he gets too wild. Okay. Close. Or you could just pass him to me. What? Him oh with, yeah, we'll be good. If he becomes too much. We'll go first person mode now. This is like a video game. This is, okay, welcome to Mount Wilson Ranch. We're going to go for a walk and you're going to go with us to take the dogs. Let's go. <laughs> Have you really been down there since it's melted off to see if there's any anything down there? No, we've been, uh, basically I'm with three dogs and being pulled along so i barely have a chance to look into the ground yeah i hear you but there was a lot of water flowing so just be careful down the hill yeah we'll see how muddy it is here too i don't yep. not even have my boots on me neither we went with shoes today it's okay yes yes Cry baby, just chill. I know. Easy. So excited. <laughs> what you got over there, Odie? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, let's let everybody check it out. Ooh. Holy smokes. What you got there? Are you getting into the tunnel or is that a rat? Oh, look at her go. Whatever's hiding underground has got to be freaking out right now with all these dogs sniffing. That'd be terrifying if you were like a little mouse. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? The monster has arrived. The giant monster has arrived. Oh, Ooh, mommy, you know. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Roddy's tasting some algae. Do you ever just let him off to run around here for a minute? No. And then try to get him back to the house or no? Not You're yet. You're afraid they would go to Timbuktu and beyond? Yeah. Yo, hunt. yeah. We've had them get loose on us before and they were like... I mean, if they scared up a rabbit or anything, you would never see them again. That's what we're saying. That's kind of where it's at. You yeah, never know. Get them familiar. So, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure if we hook them to Odie, you know, to give them abilities to come home. Yes, that's a smart idea. Just do it like one at a time where they tethered together. And especially if you had like a GPS collar, you can get those, you know. Yeah, Odie has them. Yeah, but the same thing, like, you know, the next door, are, the wildings are ex having it happen right now where they hang out with Odie and they go running and they yeah. disappear because Odie's a bad girl. Oh, bad they hook yeah, up with she's, her. And she's a bad gone, influence. Huh? But again, she comes home every night. So that's what would be the whole thing with these guys. You'd hope if they went off that they're just going to just come home. <laughs> Uh, who knows? Again, we're going to figure it out. Yeah. But like you said, make them all eat the tracker. Yes. This is fun as hell, dude. This is really cool. This is like a whole experience. Taking the dogs for a walk. If you came down here and did like a campfire, that'd be so cool. By the treehouse. Man, there could be anything here, bro. Oh, and Definitely. the water is running. We could, we could set up that uh, trick to try and recover artifacts right here in the creek. Well, we could just set sluices in here. I mean, Pretty I have much. a shed full of sluices. Pretty much, high yeah. Bankers. I mean, we could just run dirt, look for things, sift. That was the whole purpose of this originally. Right. You know, now it's just Let's worn do its it. way in for two years later. Dude, we could get the sluices out and just do it right here. Yeah. Just set it up and shovel the dirt right through them and run the water into it. And Hopefully we're going to have a lot more runoff coming. Remember last year? Yes. I mean, look. Look at how it cut out the Grand Canyon over here on the side. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> These dogs are so freaking cool. <laughs> this is like... Yeah. A lot of people will never get to do fun stuff like this, you know. Well, again, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Got one for the highlight reel. So, right here's the debate. Like, do you keep, how many dogs do you keep? You know, why not keep his, all of them? 101 Dalmatians. Right? We have all the land for it. These guys can live a great life here rather than living in some condo. It's the Portal Mountain Pack. Yeah. Nice move. <laughs> we got all bungled it's up. Little tangle. Sorted it out. That's okay. Oh, yeah. All kinds of turds. Yeah, we try to keep them away, but Ooh. again, there's as much as you can do. It's just like the fresh flavors of the forest. These stones that run up through here always feel really interesting to me, dude. Well, this is the spot. This is it. This is the artifact zone. Yep. And this is right down the whole hill from it. Yeah. And what we've found runs all the way up the meadow. All the way up. Right? Indeed. Yep. Under the meadow. Look at that. In the same way these rocks all go in a line. Notice that? Notice how they're wedged up all on the same path? This is all the seeding. Like a force field. This is the face facing directly towards the V of the mountain. It's like a giant battery. Well, here's Craw Creek underneath it here. For the most part. I'm sure whoever farmed it and diverted it just moved it over, but it was all inside this fault line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that whole section right there. <laughs> I'm trying to get a different angle. Oh, look at these guys. This is a whole experience. 
right? <laughs> this is great. This Taking is what the dog supposed to be about not what do we talk about Monday? <laughs> I know how do you beat Taking a pack of dogs like this for a walk on top of a giant force field portal UFO field, right? <laughs> and what feel the... good about it. This is so cool. <laughs> Who gets to do this? <laughs> hey, and I'm even wearing the shirt. Look at the sweater. Look at that. <laughs> Get out of here, you turd sniffer. Get on out of here. The battle. They're like, but that contains the source code. It has the information from the entire mountain contained within. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> it has they the genetic code. Poop, and they know everywhere that horse has been, probably. Or a good idea of what it's eaten and everything. <laughs> this is also a workout. Oh, hell yeah, it is. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering why every morning I wake up and my back hurts. Doing oh, arm oh, curls geez. the whole way. <sighs> yes. Good luck. Hey, get on out of here, <laughs> old name turd sniffer. Hey, yo, get down. I spit that out. <laughs> Yuckle. They're like, we're really not deprived. We just like shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, no. Now they're all a little tangled. Like, a little like Tetris here. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, he's got that down pretty good. Hey, it's not the my quick first art wrangle. Of untangle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at the mountain, guys. How beautiful is that? Yeah, this is a rough way to spend a day. It's gorgeous. Walk number two for today. So we're at the very top of the upper meadow here at this upper dam. And this is kind of where we want to put one of the Skywatch systems for the Patreon Mupas group. The modular unidentified phenomena alert system group. So putting one right here would be perfect. Keep an eye on this whole pond and everything. <laughs> and it would watch the sky and the mountain and all of it. I think I definitively saw a red tail on him. How about you guys? I'm trying to zoom in on it. That's beautiful. Kind of hard with the dogs. There we go. Wow, that's cool. Enjoying his day? Oh, I would. This weather, so Me nice. Me too. Look at the mountain and where we are. Yeah, putting a sky watch here, there's a lot of stories that coincide with this upper meadow and, and the lake pictures to go with the stories as well. Yes, with all the Bigelow, Hal put off Tim Ryan, all of the original scientists up here standing right where we are now actually. Yeah. Exactly here in the photos. Jawbone. <laughs> Whoa. What was that just sitting right in there, huh? That's interesting. Wow, it's so clean, off too. Look at that. Gonna take you out from the back of the knees there. All right. <laughs> hey, look. There it is. Wow, that's cool. It's a baby something. Deer. It's a deer, yeah, for sure. Look at the teeth on the front. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all the greenery here just from all the water that's been coming all year. Wow, look at this sand bank, yeah. See, so the water's been flowing all year. It just hasn't been gathering because it just fills in and just drains right into there. 
we have a flow going through there right there or no? Uh, no. Nothing over there either. Oh, well, I could see it flowing from above it. Sorry. <laughs> oh no. These dogs don't have the concept down yet. They aren't cityanized enough. <laughs> there you go. There we you go, guys. Skulls. <laughs> Usually he's under, underwater, you know, at the fullest. Yeah, all the way up that road is all the way underwater. I mean, I've measured 24, 24 feet. 24. 20, you got 24 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the water's pretty deep when it does fill in. Who knows if we're going to get there this year. <laughs> Look at Rod. <laughs> They're also different and cute and unique. Like every dog is different. Okay, name them again. Ready? Write everybody names. Roddy. Roddy. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. That's Bigfoot. Roddy. Crybaby. Crybaby. He's open for options. And then there's Knight. Knight. Oh, Knight. So cute. Yes. So cute. And like you said, every one of them is completely different. Look at them all. Absolutely I mean, different creatures. Totally different. Yeah. <laughs> what was Odie up to that night? <laughs> well, apparently. Making the rounds. Yeah, well, apparently there could be up to four suitors. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Look, and you got how many? One, two, three, four. And they all only half look like Odie. <laughs> the rest are all different papas. <laughs> this one's totally adopted, <laughs> right? <laughs> you would assume so, right? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it gives you a, it gives you another outlook on life to understand that one mother could put out eight puppies and every one of them be completely different. They you all know, let's survived. Say, let's say four of them females, four of them male by gender birth, or whatever you call it these days. Yeah. Um, and then completely different. They're so awesome. <laughs> Oh, outdoor dog. <laughs> I know, right? There she is. Hi, Odie. Yeah, she's been asking me to clean up the Oof. joint around here. I told her I'll get to it this year. Promise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring the gang up and they're all going to help. Oh, there she is. Look, she's on to something. Yeah, this is where the first sighting of the shaman is supposed to have happened. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She, pulled she pulled that whole piece of tin out. By the tail, you could tell she's hunting. Yeah, look at her. Waggle, 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 waggle. <laughs> uh oh. Jeff says he found a piece of pottery. Did you find it or did Bigfoot find it? Um, I think Roddy found it. Roddy he is found the inspector, it? you know. That would make sense. But let's just see before we say. Oh. Come around the corner. Oh. Come around the corner. Right. Oh, you're right. Oh, you did, Jeff. Look at that. That is definitely pottery, sir. I'm getting kissed by horse poop mouths <laughs> in the face. Oh my gosh. Can you hang on to that for half a second? Got it. I know you've got two yep. dogs already. Got it and got it. You okay if I touch it? Yeah, yeah go for it. Watch out, dog. <laughs> Come on, Rod. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. You found cool. it, Jeff. Cool. Wow. Wow, that's a very interesting one. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that is an interesting looking piece. Look at the moss growing on it. What, look at this yellow powder. That's like pollen off of the tree caked onto it. There's something. Whoa, Jeff, All this right, is a we did. freaking we cool it. piece. <laughs> I've, this Where looks like basket Nick maker. Nack. Dude, this looks like halfway between basket maker culture and an earlier culture this looks oh yeah man. it has some nice uh, marks in it i see right look at the lichen growing on the side that oh, would be indicate that would indicate it's definitely older than 100 years 
See that growing that gray stuff on the edge? Yep. On the broken edge. Huh. Look at that little cut mark. Yes, look at that. Those notches on it. That is different than the basket maker ones that they say they were woven with grass. This looks totally intentionally notched, right? Completely. This absolutely. This looks like it was decoratively done that way. That's unique as hell, dude. This is very you think, cool. guys? Dude, we both had a feeling right there. Yeah. It's like, whoa, we're going to find something right here. You, you know, look, I looked at this little flow because I believe I found pieces here yeah. last year. It's like a sluice, right, for things. There's probably more. There you go, sir. Wow. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's so exciting. Whoa. Wow. We were just joking how it's impossible to find anything with the dogs. Wrong. Wow. Great one. Wow, what a cool one, Jeff. Look at that. Okay. I even know you're busy. <laughs> okay, which one did I have here? You had red. There we go. <laughs> right. We're like yep. playing. Tetris you, you here. You can just hook him up to the other one if you I like. <laughs> I was so bummed I wasn't rolling when you saw it. I looked over right when you shouted. Oh, and there's look. a whole other piece. Oh my gosh, we're all tied up here. Get the dog, look at this. Whoa, Whoa. can you hold this one yep. too for a second? That's interesting looking. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing on my back? Ah, get out. We're teaching them to find pottery now. You guys are Cheryl. shard farmers. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Jeff, that's cool, man. Look at that right. one. That looks like more to fingerprint, huh? Yeah, fingernail marking ones. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We, yeah, got to have Chris come up here and do the archaeology. And you know what? When people watch the... Uh, possibly another piece right over there. Season two of the History Channel show. This, they'll they'll where, understand. Right where we're on top of. The, we're, this, I was like fighting that we're not going to dig here, right? Yeah. Drill. Dig. Not, not drill here. Here's this. Wow, that's beautiful piece, Jeff. You're, you're hitting it today, man. <laughs> Good puppies. Yeah, you come out here after the snow's melted. What do you think, guys? There it is, see? And there's just new stuff yeah. that's surfaced. Right? Me too. We all just look, boom. He goes, <laughs> whoa, right there. <laughs> I'm like, mic's on. Turn the mic on. Look what you could see right on the edges right there too. So put both of them in your hand real quick or here so you don't drop them with the dogs. There you go. One. Wow. Definitely off the same piece. This is all one big pot. Look at that. That is pretty neat. See that? That's totally one piece. Ah, our walk was a success today. Wow, Jeff. <laughs> Very cool. Great find. Right, right on property, right in the exact spot as usual. And huh? then right before you looked down and saw the first piece, you're like, I got a feeling, I got a funny feeling, like I'm the first one to find something. <laughs> ding! <laughs> Two ding, minutes ding, later, ding. minute and a half, out. Yeah, not even five minutes. We're barely oh, strolling up through. Wait. That's it. That's it. Another piece? Nope. That's just a totally another piece. That looks exactly the same type. Same wow. Hey, that's three Jeff, for sir. today, my friend. Look at that! Oh, cool. Oh, cool. That is too Whoa, much. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Keep your head up. Right? <laughs> wow. Holy crap, man. This is all one piece.
Look at that. Wow. <laughs> what a day. What a day. What a find. It just came straight. Look, right through here. Straight down in a line, right? Like it just oh. washes down probably right this way to the right. This is look, literally look, standing right on look, top. Look, I think this goes together with that one. Oh, it does. That's where it fits together. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That's exactly the pieces. <laughs> what the heck, dude? What the heck, dude? Wow. That's a good day right what there. What a cool day. There is a whole pot here somewhere that just I got washed think this down. this piece goes into that piece too. Look at this shard here. This flake. Tons of it. Man, Jeff, wow. Like the runoff we, is just. We've really got to come out here and do like a full blown dig. So full blown archaeological dig out. with Chris. Yeah, so I can't even everything. get the words out and you find another piece. That's what I've been trying to say for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we need Chris to come up here. Oof. Yeah, and just we're <sighs> a gang just to clean up. Wow. That's pretty neat. How about that? What a day. Those are cool. <laughs> that was pretty neat. I really have seen very similar ones, but I've never seen one just like that, Jeff. I'm definitely happy with that piece today. I cannot say otherwise. That's cool looking, is right. Look at the- All three of them the same-ish. Look at the yellow inside the- Those fingernail markings. That's like pollen or pigment. Those to that's totally t the same piece together there, though. Mm -hmm. Where is? Where did you find that? that you you've been there. That's oh yeah. Yeah, that's out of. Uh, oh, this is out of the Bristol mines over there. Um, right, right where we did our little fireworks display. Oh yes. <laughs> That was crazy. We found these Crystal today there too. A lot of, uh... Wow. Yes. That was and found with that pipe wrench. Remember the pipe wrench? The pipe we wrench at? we just filmed, yeah. On the live stream. There's your pants that we found as well. Those are the pants. Where are the boots? Where did they're they are on the stage, I believe. They're up on the stage, you're right. The these pants were with it. Did we ever ever check the pockets? I never did. I never did either. That's a good hmm. Can you do that again? And now we can clearly see spikes in the microwave data. Looks like we're gonna have some really good, interesting data. And I'm super excited in the next 48 hours for the live stream logins to come in. Where did you get this rock, sir? The weird alien metamaterial rock. You know which one I'm talking about. 